Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Avataro Gear Set 01 from Avataro Sentai Dawn Brothers. So I've seen a lot of people online refer to these as the DX Gear Sets, but it's kind of funny the packaging doesn't actually say DX anywhere on it. Now if you're familiar with the gears, the difference between a DX and a Candy Toy or a Gashapon, it's very minimal. It's pretty much just the numbering system on the back. And we'll take a look at that a little bit more when we open this up. But they have been doing so these like quote unquote DX gear sets. They give us five gears at a time here. This first one has Lupin Ranger, Pato Ranger, Ryu Soldier, Kira Major, and then in the center we have the Don Momotaro Altar Gear. So that's why that one is blue as opposed to the others being red. Now again, you've probably heard most of these sounds before because you can use the Sentai Gears from last year with Zen Kaiger, and you'll get the exact same sound. So the Don Momotaro Alter Gear, kind of the newest sound we're going to get out of this first set. But I believe the Don Momotaro Alter Gear was also available in the second Gashapon set. So technically you don't have to pick this up. They're kind of doing that where a lot of these are going to overlap. So depending on which ones you want or need, because if you have all the Sentai Gears, you might not necessarily care about getting all these because it's purely a cosmetic difference, but I do really like the look of them. I think the artwork is very cool, so I'm definitely excited to pick them up. Packaging, as you can see, pretty much standard bubble on card here. Got some nice uh, shots of the other Rangers up top, and then if we spin around to the back, just kind of shows, of course, how you can use them with the Dawn Blaster, which, of course, we will take a look at. So not really much going on. I'm going to go ahead, get them out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so we have our five new gears here out of the packaging. Now, to be fair, I believe we've already seen the Lupin Ranger gear because I think this was in either the first uh, Gashapon or the first candy toy. I want to say the first candy toy. But the artwork looks really cool. I like how you have the symbol there in the background. And we can see here that he is number 57. So let's go ahead. We will try him out in the Dawn Blaster. So for all the Sentai between Gokaidra and Zenkaidra, they actually play the actual transformation jingle from the show instead of just kind of the standard one that the Dawn Blaster makes. So the fun thing about this set is they are all from that time period, so we should get all of the new, or I should say not new, but individual transformation jingles. So next up we have Pato Ranger. Again, really nice artwork there. Got the gold chrome on all of these as well. And then this guy is number 58. So we will go ahead and pop him in. Next up, we have Ryu Soldier. And then he is number 59. So when I mentioned before uh, the difference between the Candy Toy and the Gashapon, they usually have additional like serial numbers or something in this area. The DX ones literally just have the sequential number, and that is it. So that's how you can kind of tell the difference. Otherwise, they're very, very similar. Let's go ahead and pop in Ryu Soldier. And then last up for the Sentai Gears, or I should say the Sentai Avataro Gears, here is Kira Major, looking very sharp. And he is number 60.
So there you go. Very cool. I love that they do their individual transformation jingles. Now next up we have the Don Mataro Alter Gear. So you can see this one gets the holofoil treatment. Very cool. And you get the translucent blue, which I really like a lot as well. Let's see if we can find the numbering system there. That is number, I think, 79? It's kind of hard to see because it's on translucent plastic. Yeah, I think that's 79. So let's go ahead and pop this in. So you can hear we get a different kind of standby jingle. So that's kind of cool. We get a new interesting jingle there. We get a new standby music. And if you're familiar with how the altars work as we get more and more of them, I think so far we've only seen the Tokyo altar before this one. Uh, they kind of add like Toku, Don Mataro, and things like that. So very fun. I like these gears a lot. I love the translucent blue with the hollow foil. I think that looks really sharp. Uh, but yeah, overall, really cool gear set. I think this is a great first set of Avataro gears if you're collecting all of the quote-unquote DX sets. Now, if you're collecting all the Gashapon and Candy Toy sets as well, you're probably going to have some overlap. As I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure Lupin Rangers in the first Candy Toy set, and I know that the Domo Mataro Ultra Gear is in the second Gashapon set. So you kind of have to decide which way you want to go or just deal with some duplicates. I mean, luckily, they're not that expensive, so winding up with a few duplicates is not that big of a deal. Uh, but they're really nice gears. I like the artwork. I think they look good. The sounds they make in the Dawn Blaster are a lot of fun, especially for these teams between Go Kyger and Zen Kyger because they get their original transformation jingles. And the altar gears are a lot of fun as well because they kind of have their own unique sounds going on, which I like a lot. So definitely recommend picking up this set. I got mine from HLJ. I think they may be sold out at this point. You could probably try uh, Amazon Japan, or you could go in the aftermarket like uh, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari Japan or uh, Mandarake, things like that. But the nice thing is these sets of five are not really that expensive. I think it was like around $10 before shipping. So pretty reasonable in my opinion. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking them up if you're collecting the gears this year. I think this is a good way to start out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.